up here on the Mount Sicker property. We are at the Nugget Creek at it here. And what we want to do is just take a sample from the waste rock pile. This goes in about 30 meters, 35 meters. But we're not gonna go in there today. We wanna see what kind of material they're pulling out. There's not a whole lot left in the, the adit, but it looks like they were following a quartz vein. Then after we sample the dump, we're gonna go up top and check out another little test at it and sample in there. So we actually went inside the adit a little bit and we found a mineralized area. So we took a sample from inside the adit and we also took a sample from dump material. Pretty similar, a little bit more mineralized in some of the adit material. But this is essentially what you see. This is a combination of pyrite, pyrotite, and on occasion you see calcopyrite right there. But the majority is pyrite and pyrotite. So I don't know if this is what they were following, but there's a quartz vein inside the adit, which is mineralized a bit as well. It's pyrotite and pyrite. Looks a little different than this. And then this is the dump sample here. Chip these pieces off a of boulder. Pretty similar. So we got our sample from the mine there. Now we're headed uphill, 100 meters up. There's a little test at it. That is some well mineralized material. The dump starts about 50 meters above where J2 is. So we're gonna get a sample from inside. You can see all the areas here with Really rusty rocks. You can see this is the dump material, similar to that lower adit. And there's quite a bit of it here. As you can see. And it's just past those two trees. So we're 100 meters above the road. You can see that tree right in behind that's fallen. That's where the first mine is. We're about 15 to 20 meters off strike of that, 100 meters away. And this is the small little test at it. And there's a lot of mineralization left in here. Pretty much all this wall rock on both sides is mineralized. One more than the other. This side is more mineralized than this side, but they both have mineralization. And you can hammer pretty much any piece out of this and it looks similar to the, the ones from the lower mine and ones from the dump. So this could be quite possibly a continuation of that 
mine there, although I don't see any quartz like there is in the bottom one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a sample off this side of the wall here where it's more mineralized. Looks like this is where the contact is right along here. Your rock type is a little different there and it's unmineralized. You can see right there. So this whole side is mineralized. The best mineralization that we see is along this area here. So that area right there, he pulled that sample off. Pretty similar to everything else you're seeing in this area. And as you can see, the bulk of this is puritite. You can see it's magnetic. Puritite is a magnetic pyrite. So we're trying to get a nice big sample here, but you can see this wall is loaded with sulfides. Another piece off down there. Very interesting how much mineralization is left here. A few samples. From inside, pure tight pyrite, and you have small amounts, little blebs of calcopyrite like that. And right in there. And down in here. So there's some calcopyrite, but this is mostly pure tight. Pyrite, there's more calcopyrite down there. Same with down here. Got a bunch of samples in here from inside the mine. This is all from this area here down at the bottom is where we took our chip sample from. Another chunk here hammered off from inside the little adit. Definite calcopyrite in there. You can see right there right there last couple samples here see the calcopyrite running through there calcopyrite all down in here with pyrotite Another nice chunk. So we got some nice samples from the adit and from the lower adit. And that's it. We are headed out to another spot. We'll make a new video on that. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.